Now we will squeeze from Palette. In this video we are going to learn how to customize the user registration to our page using the user registration plugin. To do that we need to go over to the left bar where it says plugin. We are going to click on add new. And on the search bar we are going to hide user registration. And this is the one we are going to use the user registration custom registration from login and user profile for WordPress. This plugin will allow us to create a registration from in the manner of drag and drop like a page builder. So we are going to click on install now. And then we are going to click on activate. And here on the left bar where it says user registration we can create a new one see the ones we have created and go to settings so we're going to go to settings now and in general options we have the user login option manual login after registration so we are going to leave that as it is we can prevent the dashboard access to subscribers and we can add some more if we want. We can enable the hide show password button. We can enable an uninstall option that would remove all user registration data on bug plugin deletion. And on the my account section we have my account page and we have my account we can add something else we want we can select the layout horizontal or vertical and endpoints are appended to your page urls to handle a specific actions on the account page this should be unique and can be left blank to disable the endpoint so we have the edit profile change password lost password and user logout and those these are the details we can change them if we want or leaving blank to disable so we are going to leave those as they are and we are going to move to the login options and we have for the login options the form template the ones is going to be used with the ID default border flat rounded and rounded edge so we are going to leave default and we can enable to remember me enable the lost password and we enable Google Recapture, it comes off by default. And we can add a registration URL, a label for the registration URL. And we can enable to prevent the co login, it will disable the login options for the WordPress. So we are going to move to the front end messages. And this will be the success message for the different actions we can do. So we are manual login. After registration, we can change it here. And the email confirmation login, we can change it here because with messages by default. Admin approved after registration, we can change it also. And we have some error messages with, and if you feel is required, the mail, it needs to be valid, the valid URL, and so on for numbers confirm email password and recapture so we are going to confirm those changes by clicking on save changes and now we are going to create a registration form we are going to click on add new and we have the builder for the registration form so we are going to give it a name we are going to give it form 1 and it has some default fields which are required the user email and the user password so we are going to add some user some fields we are going to add username we are going to add confirm email and confirm password so we can add also, as you can see, nickname, first, last name, website, to display name, user video, and some extra fields here. Input field, password field, secondary email, select, 
candidates expand their number and so on and some of them which are failed are for the premium version of the plugin so we are going to click on a field and it will take us to the field options we can change the label in this case it's username to anything we want we are going to leave that as it is and we can add a description and field name and we can add a placeholder and it could be activate as required or we can hide the label or add some custom class to the fields and for the form settings manually login after registration default user role subscriber and we can enable a strong password dips option let you enter redirect path after successful user registration form submit button class form submit button label and we can enable arrow capture support and a form template as well so we are going to create the form by clicking on create form on the top right so we have successfully created our form so we are going to click on ok so we have created our form and to add it to our site we are going to go here on the top and we are going to copy the short code so we are going to click and it has been copied and we are going to the name of the site and we are going to click on visit site and in this case we are going to customize the range in this case we are going to use the elementor and we are going to click on the top edit with elementor so we are going to scroll down until we found an open section like this one and on the widget search bar we are going to type html and we are going to add the custom html widget we are going to click with the left mouse button hold drag release and and we are going to add on the content the short code we are going to hold the control and press the b minus and we can add a typo to sign up and the login form has appeared on our site so we are going to see if everything is okay we have the username user email confirm user password and confirm password our title and we have the submit button so we are going to save those changes by going to the lower left and clicking on the update button there's also the option to add to the menu as i have done here registration page and the my account options if we click on registration it will take us to a page created by the team with a default form for the sign up and on the my account page it will take us to a page where we can manage the account change the password and so on so we have created a customization for the user registration on our site in a quick and easy manner using the user registration plugin if you like the video subscribe to our channel and share with a friend who might need help on the sites see you the next time on Paletech